Hey everyone, I wanted to go over some new and exciting news that we got from Monster Hunter and that's the fact that the official Monster Hunter Twitter account in North America went ahead and confirmed that they're doing a collaboration with Kids Concept to bring to life a couple of monsters that are stapled to the series and of course are heavily featured in Monster Hunter Rise that they're going to be bringing these monsters into a new type of figure form. Remember that the arts series has been already ongoing for Capcom for quite a while. They have different versions of these monsters already, but these are trying to do a little bit something different that I thought was certainly worth mentioning. And that's basically the fact that they kind of light up and have like sound effects tied to them as well, or at the very least, that's the way they're making it seem like to be as of right now. When you take a closer look at their official website in kissconnect.com, this is not a partnership video or anything like that. I just want to make that very clear. Uh, they do have a couple of listings for each one of these figures, both the Rathalos and the Snogger. Apparently, they cost about $100 for a deposit and $250 total. So you pay $100 down, cost you $250, they'll charge you again, uh, presumably when the figure is released, which is later this year for each one. I believe the Rathalos is in March and the Zenogre is going to be in July later this year. Now, these are rather pretty big figures. The Rathalos seems to be about 80 inches long from um, snout to tail. The wings stretch 29 inches width, which is pretty big. They're fully posable in articulation, high quality, a lighting effects for the mouth for the Rathalos. I believe the Zenogre has uh, different ones as well. Uh, they have a come with a display stand. And of course, you know, they're just like really differently looking. They're big, they're massive. They come with their case. They're just ready for you to display them. And they definitely look cool in that regard. When it comes to the Zenogre one, that figure is not currently painted or what you're looking at right now on the video screen. Uh, I do presume they're going to be painting these. I'm not necessarily sure if they want these are kits after all. So that necessarily has not been uh, cleared up from the information that they revealed this yet. Uh, but the Sonogar is 18.5 inches from head to tail, full articulation, of course, high quality decorations with the lighting effects and transparent lightning effects as well with the stand, of course, included. I know they had previously done the Monster Hunter World male hunter figure. That is one of the ones I believe is displayed in the Rathalos figure that is not included. Of course, that's a separate little uh, figure sold separately, but I do believe that one came painted. So I presume, of course, uh, both of these uh, Rathalos and Zenogre will be painted. But again, they are kids, so there is that off chance that they are not, which then creates it and puts the Otis on you to be able to do the work. But that doesn't necessarily seem to be the case as of right now. Now, like I mentioned before, both Zenogar and Rathalos have already like the Bandai series figures, which are to scale and are pretty dang good, uh, but they're also very expensive. These are a little bit more budget oriented, I think, while still being quality from what it looks like. And of course, they have the lighting effects as well, which is, again, I think the real reason why I really wanted to talk about it, because they certainly stand out for sure. I'm always a big fan where Capcom does a collaboration with another company to try to bring merchandise out there to bring more attention to this franchise, because Again, Monster Hunter is a great series, and the more eyes on it, the better, because it'll probably bring in more people to check it out. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up, and as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya!